situation for the two of us. We just lost a dog. We just lost our dog. Yep. All right, and what is our relationship? Lovers. Lovers, okay. And where are we right now? Ten minutes after you put him down. Oh, we lost him, lost him. Yeah. Like, I thought you meant like we didn't know where he was, but <laughs> we like lost him. Okay, so where did you say we were? Uh, at the vet? Yeah, we're at the minutes. vet, and 10 minutes ago we had to put the dog down? Yep. And this is the buzzer. Yep. All right, I like this. I like this. I like this. Give it up for Wendy. She just got here. Woo! All right. Okay, we're at the vet. We're lovers. We just put the dog down 10 minutes ago, and this is a buzzer game. Charlie's playing the buzzer. Give it up for Sam. Can't we be like this 364 days of the year? I know. It's like the storm that we're always fighting. We're always running around. It's like it's kind of gone. Some things just, I guess, give you a different perspective. Rufus could do that. You know, I love... When you were gone, you know, for business, he was... He was there. Yeah. I mean, if it wasn't for him, we never would have met. I named him after the drug, you know, the roofie <laughs> that I, uh, you know, scored you with. I honestly thought Rufus was like the Latin version of Rufy. We're having a beautiful moment. And you just lay that out on me? I, you didn't know I cosbied you? You didn't know that I slipped one in the pudding? You didn't know that I was watching you between the fence cracks all these years? Well, I, I knew you were into weird shit. But Just drugging and having sex with people can move. That's not that weird. There's a whole there's like magazines, you know, about it. It brought us together, you know. There's always like Hugh Grant movies, like I don't love you, but then they do, you know. And things that are bad, it's just a bad beginning, but it turns out to be romantic. I mean, Rufus, man, he brings it back. You know, I can still see you laying there motionless on day one. <laughs> I can still see you with jewel coming out of your mouth and I was like, and I gave him too much. I can still see you laying there with your hair blowing and I had the blow dryer going and you weren't even moving. Oh. Well, if you're gonna be honest, I should be honest too. He was sick for a reason. He was asking for it. He was going to die anyway, and he was the worst part of our relationship. Oh my god! You killed the dog! You did something! You What the... How could you... Over time, you... What the fuck did you do? Antifreeze. Oh my god, I've heard about that. 
It, like, just, it melts their internal organs. Uh, I, it makes their eyeballs melt until they see everything quivering in the last few minutes. Uh, they sneeze and blood comes out into like Jason, like Jackson Pollock. All over it's the, the only way I could get your attention. To kill Rufus? Well, he... You showed him more affection than you showed me. Uh, you just love that dog. You always spoon with him. Every, uh, you just took him out running and I just... Wanted to be your. I loved your running with the dog. He was the only one that I could run at the same pace with. I mean, he was like an inspiration. The only dog I ever knew with three legs. Uh, the only dog I ever knew who I had to drag around because he was born limbless. <laughs> he was a sympathy dog. I know you got a lot of attention. I was jealous of all the other neighborhood people would just well, sure. stop and you know. Talk to you and I would put on the harness at the park and go for a run with the drag. Yeah, and it would give me extra muscle. At the farmers market, everybody came up and talked to you, and I just they ignored me, and I just talk about the tail that wags the dog. I got like 150 yards on that thing once, it just <laughs> poof. But he landed well. He was a good. He, you know, he was a biter. He was a foul-smelling canine. He was a cur that looked at me with love more than you've ever known. I know. I and roofied him too. Seen? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.